What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and today we're discussing whether or not Stockpile is actually fun. Since launch, Stockpile has been one of the most hated playlists out there, with no one wanting to play it. We dreaded its very existence. Just recently, we got a lifeline. 3 for 3 announcing a workshop update for Stockpile. Does this actually mean that our wishes have finally been answered? Has Stockpile been fixed? I'll discuss my overall impressions of the updated playlist, and give my opinions on some ways it can be fixed. Before we jump into it, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Before we can jump into the update, we have to really understand the quick history of Stockpile. Ever since it was created, Stockpile has been one of the most hated playlists in all of Halo. The idea is decent and has aspects of extraction shooters, delivering goods to your base to score points so you can win. But for some reason, it just felt extremely boring. All batteries were located in the same spot, so it basically meant that whoever can get there first had a 90% chance of winning the entire game. It became the bane of Halo matchmaking. People would literally find out that we're playing Stockpile and would leave instantly causing the entire game to basically be useless. What made things worse was it felt like 3 for 3 had some sort of deep love connection to Stockpile, so whenever we would see some sort of playlist leave the entire game to be fixed or worked on, magically Stockpile would just be still left there and never touched, while other game modes like Attrition, who we all really loved to see and play, would be banished to the Shadow Realm and have to be somehow, some way retrieved because of fan outrage. And I literally would blow a gasket, losing my mind over the fact that we still had this mode in rotation for big team battle. So with the announcement of the new stockpile playlist, I was honestly pleasantly surprised. Some major changes occurred, making the playlist feel really different overall, and I was definitely a fan of it. Total scores to win was extended from 3 to 5, and the total number of batteries was ex actually expanded upon, making it from 5 scores to make you level up, now changing to just 3, making it a lot easier for you to level up your base and continually just playing the game on a faster pace. The speed of stealing batteries was drastically increased, meaning that you can actually have a chance to steal batteries without having your thumb stuck up your ass waiting for you to actually take the battery out of the entire holding cell. Most likely, we get killed before we can actually pull it off. And what's even cool upon this idea was that once you have the battery in your possession, you can actually use equipments, meaning that your movement is way better than what it used to be. And probably the best aspect of this update was the fact that batteries are now placed all across the map rather than being only located in specific areas. Meaning that instead of you all having to vie for one area trying to steal nine batteries at once, you can actually be more strategic and really combat each other at different locations seeing who has the advantage on one particular round. And my overall impressions of this update, it honestly just makes me feel so much better about the playlist itself because it just plays so much better. The issues I had with this old system was mainly around the idea that if you lost one round, there's really a slim chance of you ever making a comeback and actually competing or winning. At least with this new system, there's a lot more strategy involved with the entire gameplay so that you can actually break up into different squads and possibly go after more individualized batteries and be more efficient in the way you go after them. It used to be anyone who can get the repulsor can repulse the all nine batteries at once and now all of a sudden if you have a coordinated team, this game can last maybe five minutes. Plus the fact that you actually get to use your equipment makes the speed of or just moving around with the batteries a lot more effective and now you can actually strategize that getting your teammates a grapple shot, a repulsor, or, or thruster packs can actually give you a better advantage compared to you just slowly walking your ass all the way back to your base again. I think this was a major shakeup from the previous version and it actually feels somewhat enjoyable to play now. Now there are definitely some things you can adjust for this game mode in my opinion that could possibly kind of shift the entire meta of it so that you don't necessarily have to find the exact same thing every time. For example, that if you were to have it where certain times you level up your base, you all of a sudden get spawned more powerful weapons or more powerful vehicles. At least then it gives more of an incentive for people to actually play the objective rather than just killing each other and some players on your team actually bringing the batteries back. Because then what happens is more players that want to have more destructive killing streaks need to bring the batteries back to their base to unlock those weapons or vehicles. Would kind of remind me of Warzone and how you have to reach a certain rec level in order to buy better weapons or vehicles. So it kind of does take a page out of the Halo 5 playbook. Another possible thing you can do here is also create variants. Stockpile has a very interesting premise where instead of you just killing each other, you can bring batteries back. But what happens if you add a variant where it does increase the amount of levels you need to get to win and actually have a, has a point system where you can get points for slays as well as battery returns, meaning that you can get a crap ton of points 
for returning batteries, but you still get points overall by having slaves. So you get kind of the best of both worlds here. This would give players a lot more ways to play and the games would be a lot more faster and just more enjoyable overall. Now, I think when you look back at Stockpile and the crap filled idea that this originally was, I don't think that this necessarily was the worst thing ever, but I gotta say at the launch of Halo Infinite, Stockpile quickly became one of the worst playlists out there, mainly because of the fact that there was a lot of flaws and there was no change in sight from 3 for 3. It kind of felt like they were really holding on to this old idea because maybe some dev or Bonnie Ross created the entire concept and, did, and they didn't have the permission to change it. But all of a sudden, now once they start making some small or slight changes to the game itself, everything feels so much better. I can now actually jump into Stockpile and not want to bash my head against the wall and actually enjoy the game as it should be played. Halo has always been one of those types of games that can actually encompass many different types of shooters out there, whether it was just the pure Slayer mayhem or objective-based games like extraction shooters have with capturing the flag or moving delivery objectives to different areas like we've seen in game modes like Stockpile or Assault. I've seen these types of games, I've seen these types of playlists be successful in Halo, which is why when Stockpile was first released, I thought that this would be a very interesting idea. But I'm glad to see that 3 for 3 actually made some adjustments and shifted some of the concepts around so that at least then we actually can enjoy this to its full extent. But what do you think about Stockpile? Do you think this new update actually fixed the game mode? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.